Hey all, hope you're well. It's the beginning of September already, so it's time for another Microsoft earnings report. But before I jump into that, just a reminder that if you haven't already got um, notification from CanStock and you're a contributor there, uh, that site is shutting down here at the end of the month. So you need to go into your site and make sure you uh, ask or request for your payout uh, if you have over $5 in your uh, current account. So. Make sure you do that so you get a chance at least to get that money back. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen or not. Canstock wasn't a surprise. Uh, I expect we'll see more here in the future. It's been something that's happened uh, you know, over time anyway, so nothing new there. Anyway, um, yeah, just before I get into my earnings report, uh, if you get anything out of this video, please give me a like and uh, hopefully I'll earn your subscription if I haven't already. So yeah, let's just talk about August uh, from a stock photography earnings perspective, uh, starting right away here with Adobe stock. So my lifetime position on Adobe stock is now 7,700, so I moved up a little bit again. Uh, my portfolio size is growing. I have 11,357 assets in my Adobe portfolio. Uh, One thousand, or sorry, 10,000, 848 of those assets are images that includes photos and AI generated content. And then I have 509 videos on my Adobe stock portfolio. So growing every month, I'm growing my portfolio. So I had total sales of 412 in the month of August and my total earnings were $333.54. So that's great. Uh, 411 of those sales were images, uh, including illustrations, and that earned $331.02. I had, um, yeah, out of those 363 image sales, like I said, that includes illustrations, 121 of those were generated by AI, mid-journey specifically. So basically over a quarter of the images that I sold. So it's it's really growing. Uh, it's the first month on Adobe stock that my AI sales have cracked $100. So I've gone up steadily over time and um, I feel like there's some um, better value for me on uh, AI than there is with actual photos. Uh, that's balanced with the fact of my preferences uh, strongly towards creating uh, actual real photos and video content. But I think it's important to tell you that um, AI is doing better than my photo content or my video content uh, so that you know um, that uh, for us traditional photographers, there's other options to generate content. Uh, that might sell and earn money, especially if you're using this this money for something important. So the RPD on that, the royalty per download or revenue per download uh, was 81 cents. Now I did have one video sale as well. Uh, that earned me uh, $2.52, so <laughs> not that much. And it was a drone shot over top of uh, the University in Calgary. I've talked about photos and universities as being uh, subject matters itself. I've done the same with uh, my drone flying over universities to dry, try to generate uh, marketable content uh, associated with universities in my drone. So uh, $2.52, not a lot. Now I'm going to show you, um, this is almost a public service announcement as well. I'm going to show you a few images here. I like to always show some images. These are AI related images that I have already generated, already uploaded and sold in August. And these are Halloween images and I'll just show you them right now. Okay, so these three images sold. Uh, they sold in August. And so to the extent there are people watching this that came in through the AI side of things and are sort of new to stock photos, uh, you want to get content up well ahead of the actual date of some sort of seasonal event. So uh, I've already got Halloween content selling in August. And given the delays in review times for AI generated content, 
you actually need to probably be thinking about stuff earlier. So I expect you'll be already having uploaded anything that's Christmas related now or New Year's related and thinking already about, um, you know, content or holidays that are in the new year. So uh, that's where we're at right now. Okay, so let's just jump over to Shutterstock. I have 11,975 images and I have 998 videos now. So also trying to grow my Shutterstock portfolio. I had 319 total downloads for the month of August and that earned me $212.19. Images sales were 316 and I had three video sales. So the images earned $179.59 and the videos earned $32.60. So uh, not so bad on Shutterstock for video sales. The images earned uh, 0.57 cents per download and the videos just over $10 per download. So uh, the 0.57 cents on the images, the RPD on the images, uh, just so you know, I am right now level four. I'm almost at level five. I should jump up here pretty soon, but uh, I thought I'd throw that in so that you, you could kind of get a sense of the RPD uh, given where you're at uh, and the fact that I'm at this month at least was five, 57 cents per uh, download at level four, just to help sort of benchmark where you are and how much work you want to put into all this stuff. Okay, so let's uh, show you a couple of things. Uh, my best photo sale was this shot of the Calgary skyline and it earned me $37.50. So <laughs> again, like echoing my previous comment on um, the Halloween images, this is a fall autumn based image. It's selling in August. So you always have to have the content up uh, in advance. And sometimes that's hard to do with seasonal content because you have to take it during the season. But to the extent that you can, always try to get ahead of the season by a couple of months because uh, that's when designers are actually putting stuff together. So yeah, that one was $37.50. I'll just uh, throw up a few more random shots from Shutterstock that sold in this past month just to see what's selling. Nothing special about these ones. Um, just visual interest in my video, I guess. Okay, let's go to iStock now. Uh, I have 8,296 images in my portfolio. I have 422 videos. I had 262 sales on iStock in August, or sorry, in July, going back to July with iStock. So I had 262 sales in July. Uh, my total earnings were $127.16 for a royalty per download of 49 cents. Seven of those sales were videos, and those videos earned $7.24. So uh, as with your typical video download on iStock, not a lot of value there. Um, it's it's kind of disappointing that there doesn't seem to be the chance to earn big bucks with iStock video sales. Uh, with the other sites like Shutterstock and Adobe Stock, you get some low value ones, but then you get some random high value ones, but that doesn't seem to happen to me on iStock. So they all seem to be low. Uh, the best selling image was this shot of, a, it's just a department store in Calgary in the morning. It earned $17.19. And it was kind of a throwaway shot because I was actually shooting the other direction and I just snap it so um, just shoot all around your your space when you're out um, making stock images this other shot here i'll show you i've, I've never sh really sold it before so uh thought it'd be interesting it's this uh photograph that i took in the resort that we stayed in in the mayan riviera the bahia grand principe and the shot earned eight dollars and fifty cents and I always, try, I think most people do when you're traveling, it's all those signs, those name signs are really popular, country signs, city signs. So I always try to grab a shot of one of those because they do, they do sell. Let's talk about dreams time now. 
Uh, I have 14,338 total assets. 13,920 of those are images. 418 are videos. I had 74 sales, all images. Those earned me $30.70 for an RPD of 41 cents. My, I had nothing really spectacular again in this month. I had a $2 sale that was my best, like my highest earning sale. And it was this photograph I took in a law library at the university. And I just, this is a long, long, I took this image a long time ago and they have actually sold quite a few over time, but I thought I'd show it to you just because I, you know what? Um, there's always uh, book images in my portfolio that are selling and um, I just went into the library. Nobody cared because uh, it's at a university, I guess. You can do whatever you want. Took a tripod in. I uh, just walked around photographing books, uh, law books, case books, all that stuff. Um, kind of random, but um, I've made money off of it. So uh, if you are shooting on a university campus and creating images uh, for stock, don't forget about the inside of buildings because they have some unique places to visit. Okay, so let's talk about Alamy now. I have 13,284 assets on my Alamy portfolio. I had five sales on the site. The gross there was, the gross earnings were $310.12. And once uh, Alamy took its 60% share, that dropped to $123.93. So $123 is a great month for me on Alamy based on my past earnings. The highest um, selling image for me was a cover shot of a book by George Orwell. You've all heard of it, 1984. If you haven't read it, then, you know, in the days we're living in, you should read 1984. Uh, I own the book, and so I have taken a number of shots of it in different, um, different uh, sort of backgrounds and stuff and settings and they're selling all the time. And uh, this one, yeah, sold for $123. So just on a red background here, nothing nothing special, no lights, just a piece of construction paper with a book sitting on top of it in the middle. That's it. Uh, it's It can be that easy if you, um, <laughs> if you just do it. So um, it's funny how things work. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on to Pawn 5. I have 7,796 images. My video portfolio is uh, 2,169, so growing. Most of that's iPhone and drone, actually. So a little bit of my uh, Z, Z6 uh, camera as well, but um, growing it slowly. First time in a while, I got skunked on Pond5, so I had no sales, um, video or image. So that kind of sucked, but because I've, I've got I've got income every month from there for, for a little while, so I was kind of hoping that it would just kind of stay steady, easy, easy steady, or whatever it is, and uh, that didn't happen this month. Uh, deposit photos, I have 12,055 images in my portfolio, no video. I had 107 sales that earned me $32.11, so uh, $32 is a pretty good month for me at deposit. It just kind of adds all that up and gets me to pay out faster, uh, so that's great. Black box. 146 accepted assets, um, zero sales there. Motion Array, my newest uh, site that I contribute to. Uh, my August downloads dropped a bit. I had uh, 75 total downloads down from 85, and that changed my overall earnings by just a dollar. So I actually did earn $11, and um, 63 of those. Uh, 75 sales were videos and 12 of those downloads were photos. Uh, I don't know how much um, the sales are. I don't think it breaks that down. So you just get an overall sales amount. Uh, but the videos are selling more. And um, there's still photo sales happening though. And there's not many photos on the site. And that's the other thing I just want to mention is it looked like they weren't, maybe they did photos in the past and then they moved away from it or something, or maybe I'm wrong there. but. Um, they do allow photos, but if you search around on their site, there's almost no photos. So their library is super empty 
relative to the other sites. So if you're into photos and you want to upload photos to Motion Array, I kind of think that maybe that's a good place to go right now because just no competition makes life easier, uh, especially when you're like me and you're not a pro and you're just a hobbyist so you're fighting with pros for, uh, for oxygen. It's really hard. So think about Motion Array. Um, it's, <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I've done in the last few months is uh, try to upload a little bit, see what happens. Okay, let's jump to wire stock now. Um, I have 600 uh, images in my portfolio. I had 24 sales and I had $11.31 in earnings. Uh, I think that's really good. It's, it's a kind of frustrating because the way they've changed the uh, subscription model there or switched to a subscription, it's really too bad because I actually, you know, the longer that portfolio sits there, um, it actually, if you did your own keywording and descriptions, I think it actually had um, a really good uh, opportunity uh, for people that only want to upload to one site because I'm getting sales across all the sites and you cash out way quicker. So uh, it's really too bad. Big stock, uh, I have, um, yeah, 8,055. Obviously no new assets uploaded there. I earned $8.78. 123RF, I earned $5.99. Photo for me, I earned zero. Uh, book cover, my book cover site, Archangel, I earned zero. Although I did upload some stuff recently there. So I kind of back trying to upload it, um, Archangel, um, to not give up. And, you know, that's kind of, I always feel like Alex is. Uh, encouragement um, and his positivity on the Archangel, despite being brutally honest and <laughs> often negative. Um, I think that, you know, it's it's kind of, he can be in a little bit of an inspiring type with the, the book cover side of things. Anyway, um, now I'm sort of uh, blathering here. Uh, my total earnings uh, for the month of August were $899.96. So I missed $900 by four cents. And from my perspective, uh, August at $900 is great. So far, I've been having what I think is a pretty good year. And I'm really hoping that the fall kind of carries through and that momentum for this year uh, takes us right into December. And we, I and we all that are doing this uh, do really well in the fall. Thanks for watching. Uh, please give me a subscribe. I super appreciate it because I know that I'm just kind of a hack YouTuber and you've got tons of time to focus and do other things. So I always do appreciate it. Take care and uh, yeah, have a great September. Great fall if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and a great spring if you're in the South. Take care.